Hi, I'm Emily Sandoz, and I'd like to talk to you today about our article, Psychological Flexibility as a Framework for Understanding and Improving Family Reintegration Following Military Deployment. Um, my co-authors on this paper were Erin Armalee, who's now at Tulane University in New Orleans, and Danielle Moyer, a doctoral student at University of North Texas. Um, the ideas for this article really came about uh, about four years ago. Um, I worked with Dr. Armalee at the New Orleans VA, the South Louisiana Veterans Health Care System, in a program called the Family Program. And what we were charged with um, was improving the functioning of veterans and their families, um, primarily through family-based treatments. Um, we saw couples, um, we saw couples and their children, we helped with parenting. And one of the things that Aaron and I were really struck by are the great challenges following veterans and their families upon return from deployment, um, something that the literature has called reintegration, um, family reintegration. While some veterans seem to um, navigate this, veterans and their families seem to navigate this um, with a, a deeper sense of purpose and connection on the other side of deployment, um, you know, many, many do not. Um, and one of the things that we were interested in is how is it that some families come to uh, be more resilient um, through this process while others uh, experience this at great cost. Um, cost of the children's functioning, cost of the family functioning, cost of the individual functioning of the, of the veterans and, uh, and their partners. So what we were really interested in with this article is conceptualizing the process of family reintegration and potential in, in interventions um, for family reintegration through a psychological flexibility model um, as a framework. Um, the psychological flexibility model is the, the ba a basic model of human health and, and well-being um, that really is a, both a mindfulness and a values-based model that holds at its core the idea that we are truly healthy uh, when we're able to sort of navigate the world um, and all of the things that come up inside, all of our thoughts and feelings and memories in a way that doesn't take away from our pursuit of our values. Psychological flexibility is contrasted with psychological inflexibility where the experiences that we have, the thoughts and feelings and memories come to dominate. Um, and really limit us being able to move forwards, typically through some kind of avoidance behavior that's going on. And this felt to us like a really, really good fit. And so basically what we've done in the article is walked through some of the different processes that are involved in psychological flexibility um, and that have implications for different methods of treatment, um, different technologies that could be used um, in treating families and providing them some, with some assistance through military reintegration or family reintegration. Um, so, hope you like the article. Um, feel free to contact us, uh, myself, Dr. Armely, um, or Danielle Moyer with any questions, um, and we hope you enjoy it. Thanks.